Today we are going to look at all Vladic Brutal achievements. If you are interested in a specific achievement, skip to the time shown or click on the link in the description. We are going to look at the achievements in the order seen here. You are able to cheat to make your life easier. When you are in game, press V, L, A, D or Vlad keys. After that on the top left it will show cheat activated then you can press tab. This will allow you to use no clip and change maps. If you are ready, let's go. To get pro hunter you need to go to bonus section and choose ass hunt. You need to get 100 kills to get the achievement. Pro tip for this. If you keep moving they should not be able to get you. Try collecting a bunch of them in a line, turn around and take as many out as you can. Rinse and repeat until you get the achievement. Try to find a flat area and simply go in circles. Good luck. For the veteran achievement go to the bonus section and choose as hunt 2. For this all you have to do is stand in the helicopter. It will take from 5 to 20 minutes for you to get the needed 200 score. Sit back and enjoy the ride. For silent achievement go to bonus section and choose silent ass. I will be skipping the cutscenes and most of the running sections. All you have to do is run on the road until you reach the warehouse. Go upstairs and take the dynamite. Я думаю, чтобы пройти дальше, нужно взорвать этот чертову стену. Avoid all enemies. Continue on the road, go next to the wall and wait for it to blow up. Afterwards go through and you should have the achievement. For brutal developer go to the bonus section and press on my computer. Rapidly press on the folder. If you get a blue screen, do it again and again, until it opens. Good luck! For basketball, when you get out of the prison, go right and pick up the ball. Then simply move it through the hoop. Easy. For stealthy president, in the very beginning of the game, go left out of your cell. Then aggro the guard. You want him to kick you as this moves him out of the way from the door. Continue doing this until you can pass by. When you get past, start rapidly pressing E on the door. Go until the end where you will find the president. Good luck! For baby born, when you get the pistol, go left and left again near the white TV. Shoot the wall next to the chair and go through. Go till the end and you will get the achievement. Easy. For Vanechka, when you are at your friend's apartment, head upstairs. Break the fuse box with your crowbar. After a while, the rod door will open. Сука, бля, горло выгрызу нахуй любому выблеску нахуй. Here the developer has a lot of real girl pictures on the walls for some reason. It's a bit weird, so I will be not showing this on YouTube. But you have to go to the bathroom on the left to get the achievement. 
Prepare for a jump scare. Good luck. To find the Flanders house you will have to reach the end of the level and stop near the tunnel. Go left into the woods. Head upstairs and you will get the achievement. Easy. For sleep well Gordon, go right from the gas station and go next to the coast. There you will see a small island. Swim there. You will see Gordon's suit and crowbar. Go next to it and you will get the achievement. Easy. For yes yes, in the train crash level after the lever puzzle head down the hall and turn right. There you will see six toilets. Make a save here. Now start shooting toilets. If nothing happens, restart the save until this happens. For Yevgeny, in this level all you have to do is go from this tunnel to the tunnel at the end of the road. Simply go inside of it and you should get the achievement. Easy. For cut, all you have to do is get to this point of the game. After getting gassed, you will get the achievement. Alarm clock achievement is the hardest achievement in the game. You will need to shoot around 20 clocks. It's not fully clear how many you need to shoot, for each person it differs, as far as I can tell. Clocks are located on every single level. For some levels you will need to cheat to be able to shoot them. Seems like you're able to skip the ones that you need to cheat on, and you will still get the achievement. But I will show you all the places anyway, and mark the ones that you need to cheat on. Alright, let's go. In the first level, the clock will be next to the door you have to press E on. You will need to cheat here. As you need to shoot the clock and you don't have weapons at this point, so you'll need to cheat in the weapons. In this level, after arriving with the car, go back to the truck. Below it will be the next clock. After you come down the elevator, keep walking forward until you reach the big machine. Then to the right on the shelf will be the next clock. After climbing through the vent in the room with the battery puzzle, the clock will be on the left. After opening the door with the arm, go left. In the end near the lever will be the next clock. After climbing the elevator shaft, keep moving forward. Go into the room in front of you. The clock will be on the right shelf. In the beginning of the level, after the big monster cage, the clock will be on the left. In this open area, just before going down the sewer, head into the right corner. The clock will be on the right. In the beginning of the level turn left. You should see the clock through the bars. In the beginning of the level go through the door. Slightly to the left through the bars you will see the clock. In this level, after finishing the parkour section, the clock will be to the right on the shelf. 
in this level, in the second checkpoint, go to the small house to the right of the warehouse. On the second floor will be the clock. After walking up the stairs in the warehouse, go to the right and look to the right again. In the corner will be the clock. In this level, in the bunker, to the right of the RPGs will be the next clock. After disabling the second fire trap, go forwards to the room to the right. The clock will be in the far left corner. In this poorly optimized level, the next clock will be in the left corner in the room with the battery. After sneaking past the dog near the sewer, go to the right corner. There you will see a white car. Inside of it will be the clock. In the second big arena turn left, the next clock will be on top of the right vending machine. After climbing through the vent, go to the room to the left. The clock will be on the shelf on the left. In the train warehouse at the very end, on the shelf in the middle will be the next clock. In the cafeteria section, on the very last left shelf will be the next clock. The next one is near the Yes Yes achievement bathrooms, just before the door on the bottom shelf. After going down the stairs near the door with the switch, turn around. Below the stairs on the generator will be the next clock. In the beginning of the level after bypassing the mines, the clock will be below the stairs. In this building which is lit up, head upstairs. In the left open door will be the next clock. In the beginning of the level, head right into the electrical unit. The clock will be on the left. In the piano room, the clock will be on the left speaker. In this piano room, the last clock will be on the right. <laughs>